Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's ch change gears here a little bit. We've covered cars and planes, but many will be hitching up boats today and driving out to one of the many lakes in Missouri and Illinois. Our Sydney Star Wars joins us now live at one of the most popular water destinations out there, <laughs> Lake St. Louis. Uh, Sydney, <laughs> why well, stop laughing like that? You say uh, this year families need to put safety first before they set sail. Guys, I honestly couldn't think of worse conditions to get out on a boat uh, this morning. But this is really important because we're talking boating safety. And yeah, it actually is really important to pay attention to that this year. You know, at places like Lake St. Louis, and we are the only people out on the lake in these conditions this morning, there are plenty of boating rules to be aware of. Take a look. If you can see through the rain, there are plenty of markers in the water. Boaters need to be aware of speed limits, things like that, that help keep you safe. Now, just because these rules are posted does not mean everybody is following them. And I can tell you that across the state, boating safety risks are actually up this morning and partially because the foot traffic is up too. We roughly averaged about 5 million to 6 million visitors. Now we average approximately anywhere between uh, 15 and 20 million uh, during the major holidays and weekends. Now, boating while drunk is one of the most common causes of boating deaths. You'll remember this time last year, our newsroom told you about a boat driver who crashed his boat into a house at Lake of the Ozarks because he was so intoxicated. We have this video for you there. It was absolutely shocking as it came into our newsroom. There are several things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to boating safety. Make sure you pay attention to the rules posted. Make sure that you're aware of the wake zones and the speed limits. But I did check in with one of the most popular boating destinations, Lake of the Ozarks, and they tell me that one of their biggest problems, surprisingly, is beginner boaters out on the water. And we like to encourage people for every, uh, uh, like one can of beer, as an example, please drink uh, a uh, one bottle of water. Consume as much water as you can uh, to offset the alcohol. Yeah, beginner boaters, a big issue. Also, boaters who underestimate the impact of alcohol while you're out on the water. Now, think about 4th of July. Uh, you'll be able to fortunately dodge this weather, get out earlier in the day when it's nice and sunny, and that heat and humidity does impact uh, your alcohol intake as well. Now, if you're going to get out and even try to swim in a natural body of water, lake, river, you have to approach that differently as well. We're going to tell you how you can stay safe this 4th of July holiday in our next half hour, and I'm going to try to dry off. That's the very latest here from Lake and St. Louis. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Sydney Stallworth, 509. Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much, Sydney. You know, eventually it will dry out, right? Okay.